Hi, I'm Joanne Russell, past Wimbledon champion, doubles 1977. And now I've found pickleball and I love it. I'm gonna teach you how to move. You wanna practice aiming. So when you're starting out, don't make it too difficult. Just divide your service return box. You're gonna be over there. And if I hit you a ball, you go, I am not hitting it to Joanne or Tyson on the other side. I need to go over here, but I need to get it to the backhand. Well, if you never practice hitting it there, then, you know, it's tough. So I need a volunteer to hold this tape. Okay, just hold it there. We'll put it down on the ground. And see, it comes up easy. You can, you know, just put it down. It's probably not straight. There we go. Okay. And so now, if I say uh, I want it in this half, look, I've given you a big margin there. So if I hit the ball over and you're coming to net, so when would you come to net? Probably on return of serve. So if I was practicing, I would divide it into thirds. Now I'm a 5 0, but you know, I have just a couple more skills. So I would give myself a much smaller margin for error. I'd do a third here, which is forehand, a body shot, and a backhand over here. But when you start out, keep it simple. Just divide it in half. And once you can do this, just buy your cheap little painter's tape and mark it off. They only had blue, so otherwise I would have gotten yellow. And you can also mark off, I, I think rather than Painter's tape, you might put a few cones out or clothing or cups or whatever you have. You don't need to make it expensive. It can be anything that's sitting over on the sideline. So I want you to hit this ball to my forehand side. So here's the forehand area that you have over here. I'll know exactly. All right, so ready, return and come in. Good, volley, volley. Volley, don't move out unless I say. Okay, ready, go. And volley, whoops, volley, good, good, ready, volley. There you go, good. All right, next. Okay, now I took the ball out of the air. What does that do? It takes away time. I saw it kind of floating and I went, oh, that's the drill you were just doing. Give me less time or I gave you less time. Better watch out, don't hit me some floaty thing. All right, here we go. Go. Swing. There you go. Get ready. Woo! Very nice. All right, now you heard me say swing and it maybe was not when you wanted to swing but you were hitting too late before. So if I tell you swing and you actually do swing, it'll probably end up being the exact right moment. So it bounces, swing. Okay, wait, see I gave you less time. So you're here and if you hit it up, ooh, good, excellent. <laughs> All right, good one. Now, see if you can get it in to the backhand. We'll put this back here. So now here's the middle. So anything over here. You want me to hit a backhand. Okay, okay ready? Go. Very nice. The lobber strikes again. All right. Are you ready? Oh, you had me. Nice shot. All right. Now, you notice every time I serve to you, I just don't go here and then smack it. I'm a very deliberate person. I do the same thing over and over and again. 
my footwork over and over again. So when I serve, I have a whole routine. And that's what you need. If you ever miss your serves, it's because you're rushing. You never want to rush because you only get one serve. Ready? Woo! Here, run back. I'll give you another one. Sorry. You hit such a good return. Now, where did that land? Right on the, right on the line. It was a fantastic return. So you've got to expect some kind of defensive, I'm not going to hit a bullet, or it was too hard for me to hit a soft one because I would be back here, and then you might hit it there, and there's no way I would get it. So, of course, I've chosen the other thing. You can only do three things. Remember, what are they? Number one, you can dink. You can drive or lob. And there's plenty of places you can hit it. But those are basically the three shots you can, you can hit. So once you hit that and you see I'm falling back and I'm thinking, okay, I'm desperate. I'm going to heave up a lob. Maybe there's a little wind. Maybe there's sun. All right, you ready? Okay, ready? Whoop, here you go. Go. Good one, nice shot. When I serve, you notice I do all sorts of funny things, and then I serve it because I don't want to miss. So if you get ready for returns, you can have a little system that you go to, or a little routine. So um, it's funny, in tennis, I had a routine, and everybody I've played against, when they see me play tennis, they go, oh my god, you did that when you were like 14 years old. I have the same routine. I used to, you know, touch the ground, spin my thing, and then I'm ready. And when, once I did the touch, did the spin, got ready, something just clicked, and I was zoned in on that. So if you do the same thing, then, then no one can quick serve you because you're kind of going like this, and you get yourself ready because I'm sure you've played people that do the five, 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 one, like that. No. You go, wait, and then you, hold on one second, not ready, and then you get in your stance and you do whatever, whatever it is. Okay, ready? It's gonna be a short serve. So, attack it, come in, good. Oh, oh baby, that was a good one. Nice. All right, do it again. So where are you aiming it, tell me. Okay. Short serve. Good. Very nice. See, n now you're practicing with a purpose. You go, I know exactly where it's going. And where is she going to go with that? Probably back at you, maybe to the middle. I mean, she looked like she was struggling a little bit on that get. See, so now you're ready and you're in a more advantageous part of the court. Short ball. There you go. Nice. All right, here's a deeper serve. All right. Okay, so now here I am, she, you hit the ball here. Now you moved all the way in, right? Well, what if I hit a really crappy ball? It's going back cross court, but you didn't really look to see. I mean, I hit a good one, thank heavens. Yes. But what if I hit one and it goes up? So when I get the ball and it goes over there, I'm here and I'm watching you hit. The minute it comes off your paddle, if it's high, think about this. This little phrase, high you die, low you can go. Low means I hit it hard, maybe you pop it up 
And if you're really like on the ball, you could take it in the air or do whatever you wanted. So um, I used to think, yes, you're supposed to run all the way to the line. And I thought, okay. And I watched a few videos of people playing. So I called them up and I said, hey, uh, you know, I saw when you were playing mixed in that pro match, you didn't go all the way to the line. She goes, yeah, did you see how hard that guy was hitting? And I went, oh, yes, I did. She goes, Phew. she goes, no way I was going in there. So she, she got to here, got used to it. She moved in the rest of the way. And especially when her partner was hitting it, she was here like this. And then when he hit a low one, she was right here. So you want to look a little bit at what's happening because maybe you don't have the partner you always have or you know what they're going to do. So you must pay attention. So running blindly that way, because normally I would not go back cross court. I would go at the person in front of me. Now, why would I do that? Because if you are all the way into the net, come on in, you ran to the net. So if I hit it over there and out of the corner of your eye, you see the ball because it's going by you and you go, oh, look, it's going over there because he's not making any moves with his hands. Well, you can see that ball and there's a lot more time if they direct the ball to you. But if it goes over to John and it goes up slightly, you are toast. I mean, he is just gonna bash it right at you and it's really tough to get it back. So if my partner knows I pretty much go over there and I don't even care if people know, they still have to hit it back. And if my partner's ready, they don't wanna hit it back to me. They're gonna go to you and you're gonna be ready and put it away or hit it in. All right, here we go. Ready? Woo, hit it in. I just barely got yours back. But see how I sort of snuck in? You hit, you hit a really good return of my serve. It was deep. Depth is a weapon. All right, here we go. Ready? Go. Oh, so mean. <laughs> yes. And there you go. Hit the shot that you, you really love. All right, here we go. I got it. Oh. Phew, I've made it over. All right, so I think now I want you to go down the line again. I want you to aim it over here. Okay, ready? Ooh. Oh, now you had us. She's falling back. I haven't even moved in because I went, ooh. Get it in. See, isn't that simple? Get it in. You could have tinked it over the net. That is a powerful paddle though. A very, very powerful paddle.